Hello everyone, today I'm presenting a very interesting update to Collectors Tools. Now it's something that I've worked on for many months and through sampling I've found so many interesting different things within uh, ticket collecting, especially by the use of the PSA pop report. So how I present this to you is by basically having you understand that you may visually see a PSA pop report and you might see a PSA 8 and there's 7 of them and a PSA 9 and there's one of them and a PSA 10 there's one of them but you don't actually get to see the scan of that ticket it's impossible to see it unless someone's listed on boogers or someone's listed on eBay however the collector's tools update now changes that so how is that useful well you might have an example of a ticket and you may never have seen one like it it might be a box office one and the only other public ones have been potentially um, season ticket ones so you might not know how to authenticate it, you may not know whether that's the actual official ticket, or you might just be intrigued and want to see what it looks like. So the Collector's Tools update enables you to see exactly what has been graded by PSA. Whether it's done and filtered by grade, whether it's done by autograph, there's basically anything. Now, if you're looking at it from a potential trader's perspective, it's great for authentication, it's great for understanding what examples exist and potentially whether yours will grade the highest if you are deciding to sell it raw and from a hobbyist perspective it's really interesting just to see what is out in the market potentially cross compare seat numbers or use it as an authentication tool it really is up to you but collectors tools want to give you the database give you the knowledge and then enable you to decide how you use that so yes there's many different examples psa is renowned for potentially bundling up media tickets with uh, stadium tickets and stuff like that so it's difficult to understand is yours the highest graded so yeah again the update tackles that issue so i want to show you how exactly that works so this is the collector's tools homepage. i'm sure if you've used the website before you'll be very familiar with this so let's go through some of the changes we have the database pro which is our traditional database and we also have the ticket viewer database which is where you can see unique examples of tickets so let's go on the database pro and look into some of the updates there. So simply press get searching or you can of course click on database pro. So this is the population report database is how we've named it. So let's give the example of the Messi official debut and simply press enter or you can obviously hit search. Now this is gonna bring up the different ticket groups. So this isn't specific examples, but these are groups. So there could be 10 of these graded and, and, and three of these for example. So there's more tickets within these, but these are the groups of tickets. Now, much like before, you can simply click here and see the PSA pop report with the latest updated live information. And here you can see there's three of them graded. Now, we can see there's a PSA 6 grader here, which is fantastic and the highest by far, as the only other one is PSA 2. So you know that information, but you can't exactly see this information. This information, you know, there's no way of finding it out unless someone's of course listed it on Boogers or another public marketplace. However, this is where the update of Collector's Tools enables you to see within this database, enables you to see this specific and unique individually graded tickets. So let's see how that actually works. So we've just clicked on full here. So we wanna go through the examples and press view. So you'll be able to see, it's gonna load the new database, which is here, the ticket viewer, and you'll be able to see the unique examples of these tickets graded. Now, as we just showed you on the database, there's a PSA 6 graded, but again, we can never see it before. However, and this is where the collector's tools update is fantastic, you can now simply click the link here and the scan, and it will bring up the scan of this PSA 6 ticket, which is incredible. For the previous reasons mentioned, it might just be out of interest, it might be cross-comparing to authenticate, it might also be the fact that, you know, this is a box office ticket, which was, you know, never historically seen, we've only ever seen these stadium tickets here. So if you're wanting to cross compare and authenticate a new example, it's fantastic for that as well. So this is a really, really useful tool. Now, that is one of the main benefits. You can obviously now sort that data by year, by event, grade, autograph, whatever it may be. So let's go high to low and you can see there, or of course you wanna play around with low to high and it will simply just change that information. So that is the link between the database pro, which is a population report and the updated and new advancement, which is the ticket viewer, which as it says here is search unique tickets. 
You can enter your certification number and see the scan there directly through this. But if again, if you want to search through an example and you want to go through and find, let's go with a, let's keep it football themed for this example. We'll go Messi debut. This is going to bring up every unique example of a Messi debut. Now it won't just include the official one because of the word debut. It will also include friendlies, uh, managerial debuts for other people that include that. So it is kind of, to some extent, your responsibility to sort this information as you wish. Again, you can just advance this search by typing in full here. So that will bring up just fulls. And if you wanted to do it by a certain year, which is pretty useful, is another way you can do that. Again, so it's down to your responsibility to search in the ways you need, or of course, if you want to just sort, uh, that could of course help you there. So let's go year high to low, and that will bring us with the highest, and we've got 2004. So that is some ways you can play around with it. Now, there's many different examples if you want to type in Mike Tyson. Hopefully it should bring up some examples here of some of those graded tickets. One advice I will give you is this pop report is based on some of the information publicly displayed on PSA's website. So as you can see, there's only around 20, 30 examples here of ones that are Mike Tyson. But this is because, here we go, as you can see here, player Tyson versus Spinks. A lot of PSA's terminology is shortened so it can fit on the flip, which means that if you type in a full name, often it won't come up, and you might have to just go with a surname. For example, just Messi, just Ronaldo, just Tyson, just Ali. But if you do use a more broad search like Tyson, you'll get, as you can see here, far more responses. And there's so many here to go through, but you can obviously filter how you want. So I'm gonna go through size, so that would just be, again, uh, stubs at the top, or if you want to go through and see the falls, you can do it in that way. But again, there are a few examples of autographs, and this is really interesting for autograph authentication. If you go high to low on that, it will bring up every single autograph ticket. As you can see in the far column, it's auto, auto, auto. So there's around, well, lots, around 30 examples of autograph tickets. Now, this is extremely interesting and useful for, of course, auto authentication of autographs. You're able to see the exact autograph here. Um, that's actually not a Tyson autograph, I don't believe. But again, you can then cross compare all the different autograph examples and build some bank of knowledge based on that. So there will be all the different examples here and you can use this as a tool for that. And it's really easy to search through and it's fantastic as you can see there. Now, let's go through another update which you guys will find interesting, which is the My Collection section. And that is your personal collection and log of tickets. Perhaps you're going through this database and this is a ticket that you own. It is uh, the road back and then the blue variety. If this is your one and you can cross compare the cert number to the slab that you have in front of you, and you do own this, then you can simply press add. Now this is gonna add it to your personal collection, which if you scroll to the top and click top right, and view, this is your personal collection. So you can now digitally log every ticket within your collection. So here we go, as we've just shown here, this is now in your personal collection. This is your ticket and you can log. Now if you've got a vast collection and you know, uh, across you know, many different niches and hobbies, this is a great way to log all of that together in one solid place. And again, if you've got numerous tickets, you can simply just uh, use the search filter to kind of help navigate some of those unique tickets that you've got and pull out certain ones. So there's no stub involved here, so of course no results. So it's a fantastic all-in-one tool. There'll be so many more updates as we go through. I wanna thank everyone that's helped contribute to this massive update. I'm extremely proud to present it to you and I hope you know it does bring out some really cool tickets that might have never surfaced publicly. So when we look at examples like Messi, I'm using this example as it relates to the whole situation, and I'm a collector of Messi authenticated, graded autograph tickets, I can simply click here, go through to autographs, and see every single one of his tickets, which for me as a collector of Messi is extremely valuable, extremely valuable. And I'm sure some of these autograph tickets will have never surfaced publicly, so it gives you the opportunity to access this information uh, in the easiest way possible. Again, most of this has never been seen before and there is no software or website which has ever done such thing before. So I hope you guys really make the most of it. It is a really cool uh, website and it's taken a lot of money, time and resources um, to, to get this far. So I'm really proud to, to display it to you. 
I would love for you guys to add some tickets into your own personal collection and log it on there. It'd be fantastic to see some of the tickets you've got there. And again, lots of updates coming along the way. So stay tuned for them. Thank you very much for listening. And I will yeah, see you in, in the comment section of some posts. Thank you very much.